Hello, I'm Grace McKinnon. What can you do when a friendship suddenly changes for no apparent reason? Someone who has experienced this writes the following. Dear Grace, a friend whom I used to see and talk to almost daily suddenly stopped calling and no longer seems to want to see me. I feel hurt, angry, rejected. I'm not sure how to find peace about this. What can I do? Sometimes it's very hard to understand why people do what they do, isn't it? But things could be happening in your friend's life that you may have no idea about, no awareness of. And these things could be affecting her behavior towards you. I know that it hurts you and you miss her. But try very hard not to jump to conclusions. Ask God to give you understanding and patience. Don't make the mistake of thinking the negative right away. You could be very wrong. I remember a story, an incident that happened to me many years ago. I had a correspondence with a friend of mine who lived far away from me. At one point, she stopped writing for about two months. I didn't hear from her. I kept writing and no response came. After a while, I became kind of upset with her and I wrote her a letter telling her so. I put it in the mailbox, but the following morning, I regretted having written the letter and I went to the mailbox and took it out, decided to wait a little longer. Lo and behold, the following day, I received a letter from my friend, and she begged for me to forgive her and explain to me what had kept her from writing. And sure enough, it had nothing to do with me. I was so grateful that I had not sent her that letter, but had chosen to be patient. Sometimes people simply need some space for a while to work out certain issues going on in their own life. Give her that space and don't worry, unless the person lives alone. In a case like that, you might want to check in on her to make sure that she's okay if you haven't heard from her for a while. Always try your best to think positive. When you think positive, you will probably never really be disappointed in others. This takes practice, and we may fail many times, but with God's help, we will become better and better at it, and it will always make us a stronger Christian, and therefore, more like Him. I always enjoy hearing from you. If you have a question, write to me at grace at deargrace.com, and remember, God loves you very much.